Hello everyone, I am Rahul and this is my YouTube channel. Today we are talking about the movie review of Take Care of Maya is a Netflix neon to heartbreaking story. Even though we are discouraged, we will not settle the world with Maya Kowalski capture the emotional struggle of the Kowalski and many other family who had found themselves being targeted by the system. Roswell Take Care of Maya on Netflix feel like an odd to this struggle by the time of certain fall on the story of Maya Kowalski and her family in the Netflix documentary. By the time 17 year old Maya Kowalski get done with her story, it becomes the evident that he has supposed the many Netflix documentary in which the perpetrators, the numbered and few there are many responsible for the systematic violence they spent out in Maya case. The more haunting reality with which even Henry Roswell decided to conclude her documentary film. We begin when she was born to Jack and Beta Kowalski, who faced initial difficult convince her child. Jack was a retired firefighter, and Beta worked as an influence nurse. Life was going well for the North Kowalski until one day in 2015, when Maya started feeling sick with symptoms of ragging from blood vessels and unbreed pain. After going through an array of doctors who failed to identify the cause of Maya condition, an expert of complex seasonal pain syndrome CRPS, Dr. Anthony Curtis dismissed Maya with the disease start suggesting a ketamine influence in the treatment, which delivered proven results to many patients before Maya. When the ketamine influence worked for Maya, she got significantly better, although she was not able to walk still. Maya condition required her to be the under high doses of ketamine. When the Kowalski could not afford Dr. Kripik's treatment anymore, they were referred to a Dr. Ashraf Hana who continued to prescribe long doses on the medicine. The situation was once up until an unfortunate day in October 2016 when luck ran out. The family and replaced her parents took her to John Hopkins Hospital after she complained of suffering from stomach pain. Jen quickly found out that the doctor at the hospital had little idea of Maya's condition and he made them talk to Beta who was of ketamine inflammation. High doses. Doctor reported the incident to the Child Protection Service and leading to entry of child abuse petition. Dr. Sally Smith. Dr. Smith quickly concluded, apparently, after a 10 minute interview with Jack, that Maya was not be taken into a state custody. Dr. Smith strongly believed that Maya was a victim of child medical abuse and the beta was diagnosed with a Munchausen syndrome by proxy, a form of mental illness and child abuse which the caretaker of a child make it look like their child need medical attention, either such fake symptoms or real one. To take care of Maya, Jack became the primary narrator as he spared out the detail of events that follow after the Maya was taken into state custody. He claimed that the authority tried putting them against his wife. Despite the continued struggle, the family has been thrown the warriors was yet to come from Maya and her family as three months after Maya was placed under state custody. Vita Kowalski hung herself in her house. Court denied Maya from take care of catman treatment. Physical therapy eventually helped Maya resume her ability to walk, but nothing could bring better back to Maya, who clearly misses her mother. At this point, it revealed that a local news reporter definitely since coverage on the Kowalski lead to the influx of email letters and numerous family who have been victim of similar system. Finally, the Kowalski decided to file a lawsuit against the hospital. Documentary and the trial is set for September 11, 2023, exactly 2530 days after the Maya admission from John Hopkins. It also revealed that Dr. Sally Smith already settled with her portion of lawsuit back. Just it that the hundreds of families who approached the filmmaker during the course of Maya of Take Care of Maya never did. Maya Kowalski continued to live with a pain caused by her medical condition and mother unfortunate demise. As Equus Maya last word is documentary, she admit her she will continue to fight off mother and for many other families. So thank you so much and please subscribe my YouTube channel.